Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today a very interesting video. We're gonna watch I Wanted to Kill Muslims, Now I Am One by AJ+. Plus. This video has over 2.3 million views and is about Richard McKinley who planned to blow up an Islamic center apparently, a former US Marine. We already reacted to former right-wingers that became Muslims, but a US Marine that wanted to blow up an Islamic center is definitely news to me. Let's have a look. I get a knock at the door and hear uh, two guys in a suit. I'm from the FBI. The first thing I have to say is, what took you guys so long? I told them the truth. I was going to make my own IED, and I was going to set across the Islamic Center over in a bank's parking lot, and I was going to dial it in and just watch the show. Growing up, I saw a movie, and it was Rambo. Rambo was tough, respected. He had intestinal fortitude. Yes, and Rambo was fighting hand in hand with the Taliban. Have a look. It's true. I said, that's what I want to do. I went off and joined the Marine Corps. Then you should have fought with the I Muslims. I wanted the action. The first time I got shot at, I remember looking at my watch and I says, man, this time last year I was in English class. I fought several times in the Middle East, Desert Shield, Desert Storm, South America, Philippines, Somalia. I think the worst things that I have seen is dead children. Yep, sounds like the worst thing you can up. see, man. I had to be there for my guys. Each one of those teardrops stands for a confirmed kill. I stopped adding after 26. Where I was taught Marine Corps, just own it and then let it go. But there comes a time when there's too much of that and you can't turn it off anymore. I want you to give me a window into your state of mind at that time. One time, my wife and I said, went to a DSW, and I saw in the distance these two women in black burkas in my store. I cried as I prayed for enough strength to go over there and break both their necks. I was just angry. I was just full of hate and it just fed. I was full of hate as well. As I said before, growing up in Germany, coming from the Balkans, when I saw so many Borkas in Macedonia, I was very angry with it as well. When I saw the Borkas in Germany again, I got very, very angry as well. I wouldn't say that I wanted to go there and break their necks, but I didn't want to see them in my country. And it is so hypocritical because guess what? My grandma was wearing a veil. She was Christian Orthodox, but nevertheless, that generation still wore a veil. However, back in the day growing up in Germany as I said I can really relate to what he has to say I had so much hate in my heart it off itself at that point and I was I see drinking to this very day on that note that many Christians have that exact hate many Christians still identify with nationalistic movements with ethnic movements and therefore they have that hate against Islam. It's quite interesting. They always speak about the Christian love that is all encompassing. We all love each other, but in reality, I've seen otherwise. Half gallon of vodka every two days. I had devised a plan, create my own IED, homemade bomb, and I was going to set it off right outside the Muncie Islamic Center. The irony in this, the white American blowing up an Islamic center. 200 plus killed or injured. That was the plan. Well, man. I saw an opportunity to do one last thing for my country. This was my rationale. I knew I would end up in a federal prison with a needle in my yeah. arm. I didn't care. My hatred of Islam, it was the only thing that was keeping me alive. He was brainwashed, So one day man. my daughter comes home, second grade maybe. She was telling me about this little boy who sat across from her, his mom came to get him. She, she said she had scarves on her and she had a dress all the way down to her feet and you couldn't see her on nothing but her eyeballs. At that point, I snapped. Started spewing things out of my <laughs> mouth that should never be said to my children or anything. <laughs> she didn't say anything. It was the look on her face. I remember my daughter looking at me like I was absolutely the craziest person 
on the face of the earth. She was my <laughs> little buddy. Yeah, she used to say we were road dogs. <laughs> I know, I, I, I saw it in her eyes. I made her question that love. And that's when the light bulb came on. I decided to give the people of this community one more chance. So I went to the Islamic Center, see a gentleman in the shoe room taking off his shoes. He looks at me and he smiles. That's good. That's a good idea after all, man. Before blowing up that thing, you can walk into it and have a look, no? He said, can I help you? And I said, yeah, I want you to teach me about Islam. So he went and he gave me a Quran. Read this. Come back when you have questions. So I did. And I would see things in the book. I'd be like, there it is. I got them right there. Explain that to me. And they would. This was a, a kind of awakening. Long story short, eight weeks after that first day I stepped into the Islamic Center, I became a Muslim. Eight weeks from wanting to blow up the Islamic Center to becoming Muslim. This guy is quick. Three years later, Mac McKinney became president of the Muncie Islamic Center. No way, man. This guy really is quick. <laughs> That's so wild. I'm a Muslim, a veteran, and a proud American. I had learned that I was completely wrong about everything that I felt. You know, Judaism had a message, Christianity had a message, Islam yep. had a message. Funny thing is, though, it was the same message. It was about peace and it was about love. Please join me in welcoming Mr. McKinney. My big the thing same is now message. to stop the hate. Nothing good has ever come out of hatred. I've done too many things. I've hurt a lot of people. I have to live with that. But if I can stop somebody else on the path of non-forgiveness, I won. Nice, bro. All right, guys, and this is absolutely mind-blowing video, man. Not only that he became a Muslim, but that he became a Muslim in eight weeks and then the president of the Islamic Center after three years. And before that, he wanted to destroy Islam in America. He wanted to blow up the Islamic Center. I think this is the biggest transformation that we've seen. But as I said, unfortunately, I can relate to this because I come from a place of hate myself. Even though I had Muslim friends, I hated Islam and everything it stood for even though I didn't really know what it stood for. It is insane what sort of cognitive dissonance we face. But one more thing I have to say, unfortunately yet again, especially when I became practicing Christian Orthodox, I don't want to blame it on the religion, not at all. However, I've seen it with other Christians as well, that we developed some sort of nationalistic, ethnocentric ethos. Many Christian Orthodox claim that nationalism is the way to go as well. And during that time, I started developing even greater hate for Islam. Instead of really seeing what Islam is, I started hating it even more without researching further. Until one day, finally, by God's grace, picked up the Quran and started reading it. And this was really so transformative to me. The hate has been washed away and it's absolutely beautiful here in france i'm surrounded by so many muslims and i absolutely love it it's such a beautiful family friendly atmosphere i have burqas around me any day over mini skirts all right guys but this is it for today's video if you liked it leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support the channel all the links are in the description box below thank you so much for your ongoing support especially on patreon as always may god bless you all much love and peace Thank you.